Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading. Today I thought we'd try a little bit something else. A fun thing about astrology, namely how the sun signs of the zodiacs respond to romance and love. It's all fun, not meant to be taken all too seriously. So enjoy the ride. And before I start, the book you see displaced here, that's the book I got the information from for the reading. Okay, so we come to the sun sign Gemini in love and you and Gemini woman. When you meet this coquette, you are most likely enchanted, for she casts a spell better than Merlin. However, her love affairs have a touch of the casual, and even when she becomes deeply involved or marries, there will be as much friendly feeling as heavy breathing passion. Many men who agree that Gemini women are fascinating, they also agree that they are too difficult to be figured out. So just keep in mind her dual nature. That might help you not to be so confused about her. One part of her needs love and security to be cuddled, catered to and looked after so she knows she is the most important woman in your life but the other much stronger part of herself needs stimulation and novelty she is high spirited and pleasure loving and often lacks the patience much less the time to live up to her femme fatale. And besides of that, most men she meets, she feels are not worth time and effort. They to her are too dull and too boring. She is a connoisseur for the one she is really interested in. But when love goes out the window, she doesn't waste time wondering why it went out and where it went. A bad experience will not linger on for too long in order to fall in love again. She knows that she must forget having been in love before. Gemini woman is inclined to be restless and changeable. And she is usually not interested or satisfied with just one man in her fangs. Her dualistic and fickle nature demands more than one man can provide. To fulfill this woman's needs, he must satisfy on several planes at once. Mental, emotional and Sexual. Variety is the name of her game. All this causes problems for the one who seeks to become her number one in her life. You have to be a very creative man in order to keep her interested, both mentally and sexually. If you can, then she will be your devoted companion, faithful lover, and all-seasoned charmer. A quick learner, Gemini woman, has an endless sexual curiosity and a charming willingness to experience. Sometimes she tends to emphasize too much on the physical responses of sex and fails to see the emotional components. That's because she is basically committing herself not too deeply or reveals herself too openly 
to the one she spends time with. She likes to think her love is greater than that of her partner, a subtle form of control that is both a reproach and an encouragement for him to prove otherwise. Don't take what Gemini woman says at face value. Even if, she, even if she believes the things she says, there is another motive behind the apparent. Underneath her amazing variety of masks, however, there is a solid, enduring person who shows her real face when she is in love. Then she may become quite possessive and is even inclined to be jealous. It is a rare lover who can deceive her and get away with it. But why would he want to? She is tempestuous, brilliant, vibrant and witty. So she is more than enough for any men. Now we come to you and Gemini men. He is the world's best date, quick-witted, charming, interested in his companion, generous, imaginative about places to go and things to do. A date with him is like an entertainment that never ends. Women are drawn like moths to this bright flame of his vivacious nature and zest for living. And like moths, women flare briefly in his life and then are gone. It won't do any good to try to pin him down. So enjoy the time you have with him because it will be it will be short-lived. His Mercury-ruled, this Mercury-ruled man loves women, which is one of his secrets of success with them. The Gemini man is truly interested in what women have to say, how their minds work, and what he can learn from them. But he also needs his minimum daily requirement of fun and when the fun leaves a relationship so does he just when a woman begins to take him seriously he manages in a puff of smoke the truth is that the gemini male is made uneasy by too much emotion and by a woman who takes love too seriously. He thinks that sex is fascinating because it continuously renews itself. Unfortunately, love is meant to be terminal. Funny though, many Gemini men tend to get involved with intense emotional women. Of course, they don't usually stay involved. Something about women who live on a dramatic level, who really feel emotions and express them, intrigues and fascinates Gemini. It is as if through them he hopes to uncover a new facet about himself. If you ask him why he moves from one female to another, he will tell you it's because he is searching. Could be a search for his own identity or the perfect love or some elusive goal of perfection. He was born under the sign of the twins and in a way he is looking for his twin, the spiritual soulmate who will complete his nature and put an end to his duality. It's all too easy for you to fall into this man's silken web because he is a past master 
at the art of seduction. Many a woman has begun a friendly relationship with a nice, seemingly unaggressive intellectual Gemini, only to find herself in bed with him and not quite sure how she got there. A variation of this approach is when he seems not to be interested or is acting cool and indifferent or is even pursuing someone else for a time. Then when you start to make an effort to attract him, it's too late. He has slipped the halter around your neck. As a lover, he has imagination, assurance and flair, but he may not seem fully committed. His attention is always partly occupied somewhere else. A romance will prove intriguing and exciting, but may not survive some rough spots. The initial glow rubs off and the flame goes out. No regrets though, when smoke gets in your eyes. It has been fascinating to know him. How to attract Gemini, both male and female. Meet them on the high ground. Gemini's interests are wide rather than deep. They know different things about everything, but they often don't go deep enough into a subject so you can impress them by knowing a thing well. Gemini loves to give a friend or lover a kind of IQ test. If you pass, good for you and you are welcomed. You can even choose the subject on which you are being tested. Books, music, art, politics, Gemini is interested in all of them. Beware of being too smugly conservative because Gemini thinks of it as being dull. However, speak your mind frankly on any subject. Gemini, Gemini admires candor and honesty and a good exchange, even of contrary opinions. Don't try to match his wits unless you can be sure to have the verbal ammunition. Gemini of either sex use words as weapons. While Gemini enjoys intellectual talk, they also love gossip. If you know any interesting anecdotes about the famous, near famous, or even just mutual acquaintances, you have an apprentice, and no, you have an appreciative audience. And Geminis are also fond of anyone who can make them laugh. Want to give a gift? Bracelets and rings will set off their expressive hands, or give them something to stimulate their busy minds. Books, word games, puzzles, or the last dictionary. Called today, called today, I guess, Google. Warning, Geminis are deeply sensitive and need to have people around they trust. Never give them a reason to suspect you are playing fast and loose with them. And don't you be suspicious of them. Nothing distresses Gemini more than to have their motives questioned and so to be distrusted. So that was about Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for being here and goodbye.